Hi y'all, it's Skye and thanks for visiting my channel. Today I have two first looks to share with you guys. Thank you so much Diamond Art Club for sending these to me. If you watch my Friday roundups, then you already know that I was very excited about these two kits. So being able to show them to you today is just the greatest pleasure. So thank you, Diamond Art Club. All right, the first kit we have here is Spring Gate by Joelle McIntyre. And don't worry, we're gonna see this image a lot bigger in just a minute. So this is a square drill kit. So we know that because of the blue square here and the blue theming of the box. If it was a round drill, it would be pink. And then on the back, we have got just some information on how to diamond paint and your kit contents. And then also on the side of the box here, you've got a little QR code that you can scan for 10% off. Okay, this is always the part that gets the best of me because it's time to take off the plastic. <laughs> Okay, I have won the battle. Now we get to see what is inside here. I am so excited to look at it. Okay, I see that toolkit poking out here. I'll grab that out. And our smaller sticker. Now, let's see if we can just get this to come out in one fell swoop. Yep, great. So this is that smaller sticker. Uh, people tend to do lots of different things with these. A lot of people use them as labeling on their boxes for storage, just to make it easier to find their kits. Um, I am thinking of using mine in a logbook. A lot of people do that. And um, right now I just keep mine in a file, very sadly, but there's plenty of things you can do. Some people I've heard make cover minders out of them. I don't know how to do that, but that would be really cool. And this is the toolkit that we got. This is the newer style toolkit. So these are being slowly integrated into all of Diamond Art Club's kits. But just because I got one, it doesn't mean that you're also going to get one. But it it's fine if you get an older style. Everything that you need is, is in the older style toolkits. This one just has a few extras. And I'm going to show you what those things are. We've got our bag of baggies. You can use these for kitting up or storage. We've got a diamond painting pin with a little gripper or squishy just to give you a little extra comfort while you're gripping it. And this one has some glitter in there. I don't know if it's focusing, but I hope you can see that there's glitter. It's pretty. You also get a container with your heart waxes inside. It includes multi-placers. This is a skinny four and a skinny seven, I believe. You also get a tray with a stopper. And I believe I was about to put it in this way, but I think the actual way you're supposed to put it in is like this. I think that makes it a little bit more secure. So I think that's the way I'm gonna be using it from now on. Since this is a square kit, you get tweezers. These have Diamond Art Club's branding on them, and they are also incredibly sharp, so always be careful. And then we have our washi. Look how pretty this one is. A lot of people will use this to tape around the edges of their canvas, just so you don't collect any kind of dust or, or sleeve fuzzies or anything like that around the sides of the canvas. Some people even use this to section their kits off into like squares so that you can just do little pieces of it at a time. Many ideas on the washi, but it is definitely beautiful. And then there is a cover minder. I have not seen this one before. So what you do with a cover minder is you remove this magnet from the back you can slide this magnet underneath your canvas and then you fold your plastic back to where you want it to stay so you can diamond paint. And then you sit this on the top and they will snap together like that and it'll hold your plastic back. Okay, now that we have looked at the toolkit, it's time to take a look at this beautiful canvas. I'm gonna see if I can get the drills to come out first. 
well, let's see if I can just completely tear this bag up. Oops. <laughs> okay, I think I've managed to get into it now. Let's see if we can get the drills. Oh, look at those colors. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was gonna say I wanted to look at the other stuff first, but I really want to show you. Oh, those are so pretty. Oh my gosh, is that an AB, that white? We will definitely look at all of these in a minute. I don't know why I am acting like I need to see them through the bag, but we will see those and inspect them deeply in just a moment. But first I want to show you this thank you pamphlet. Now this is just going to have some information inside for you to check out. You can scan these QR codes to go to a video that will show you how to diamond paint. This one will take you to the VIP Facebook group. You've got a coupon code in here. And then one of these two will take you to the Diamond Art Club app. The next thing I wanna show you is this larger sticker sheet. I told you we would have a bigger view of the image in a little while, and this is a much better view of it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. So this larger sticker is also great for a log book. It has a start and end date that you can track your your progress on it there. And then it also has the dimensions down here. So this one is a 90 centimeter by 70 centimeter. And over here we can see it has 64 colors. Let's see how many ABs we've got. Four ABs. So these stickers are separated, so you can peel them off individually. So when you're kidding up, it makes it so easy. You can just peel off the one that you're putting in your containers and label them that way. Okay, now we definitely need to see this canvas. I may have to adjust my camera because I think this is gonna be a big one. Let's see, yes, this is how I need to do it. I can already tell it is so gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at the colors. I think I'm getting getting it mostly in frame there. Let me see if I can adjust and get it any better. Okay, maybe a slight improvement, but also I rolled it backwards and that is just helping it to lay a little bit flatter. Now, I, I don't worry about doing that with a poured glue canvas like this one, you can roll those backwards, but also this would lay flat on its own in no time. Diamond Art Club's canvases are made with self-flattening materials, so I'm, I'm not worried about it laying flat. I just wanted to go ahead and get it as flat as possible just for the purposes of being able to show it to you now. On the canvas, I do want to point out that in this bottom corner down here, you can, of course, see the title again and your dimensions, but also you have your licensing information right here. So the fact that this is present means that Joel McIntyre is being compensated for allowing Diamond Art Club to use this artwork in a diamond painting. So if licensed artwork is very important to you, that's where you can find that information on Diamond Art Club canvases. Also, I wanna show you that you have a legend here on this side of the canvas, and you also have one here on this side, and I'm gonna bring this one a little closer to the camera. I just wanna let you guys kind of see the symbols here in the legend. And the reason I like to look at it on the legend instead of on the sticker sheet is because I feel like you get a better idea of what the symbols look like on the canvas if you look at it in the legend. The sticker sheets are always clear, but you know, if you were ever gonna find a problematic symbol, you'd be more likely to find it here. So if, if any of these seem unclear or they bother your eyes for any reason, I just wanted to let you know that those are there, I don't see anything, whoops, I don't see anything that looks blurry or any any symbols that seem like they would be confusing, but that's different for everyone, so I just wanted to give you guys a view of that to let, let you decide for yourself. Okay, since I'm not able to get all of this in the frame, I am going to do a slow pan over it for you guys so that you will definitely be able to see all of it.
absolutely in love with this, you guys. It is too pretty. But we need to move on to the drills now. Uh, once again, <laughs> let me show you how they look in the packaging. I will let you know that they do put labeling on the drills. So if you store your drills separately from your canvas, you will still be able to match them up. I am going to go through all of the bags of drills one by one. So if you want to skip this part, there should be a timestamp or a chapter that you can use to skip to the portion where we're going to look at where the different ABs go. All right, we have 524, 3861, and then one, two, three bags of 702. There's so many pretty greens in this. Three bags of 700. Two bags of 3781. And two bags of 3787. Two bags of 703. And a 913. 842. 828. 3766. And two bags of 3766. 317, 996, two bags. 839, two bags. 912, and then one, two, three bags of 699. Three bags of 701. 169, 907, 3864, 3743, two bags of 3756. I love this color. I think I say that every time we see it in the drills. I love it. And then 640. Okay, you guys. One, two, three three bags of 141. So this is our first AB and we've got three bags of it. But AB stands for Aurora Borealis and these drills just have a special coating on the top and I think you can see that they have a special kind of shine to them. And then here, this is a bag of 827. You can see, I mean, they sparkle, but they don't catch the light in the same way that these do. So the ABs are just a little bit extra. 155, 413, 327, 938, 131. So this is our second AB. You can see that coating again on this one, a pretty orange. 814. 210, 954, 159, 3325, 209, 898, 208, and two bags of 500. 995, 498, 126, so that's our next AB, that pretty purple. 602, 3807. 600, 603, 402, 154, 741. 792, 135, so I think that's our last AB, this nice green. 310, 797, 3776, 720, 3033, and 945. 
Okay, y'all, that's all the drills, but now I want to look at where these ABs go. So let's start off with the first one listed in our legend, and that is the number 126. So that is this light purple AB. It looks like this one is going to be a lot in where you might expect, the purple flowers. So there are a bunch of them. You see that symbol number one, that is that AB. And it is in, well, if I can hang on to the canvas, it is in these purple flowers in this corner. Lots of that to highlight over here. It is also, in the purple flowers that are on this side. Maybe not quite as widespread. You can just see a few ones here and there, but it is present. And then I also noticed that here, the, the little flowers in this uh, basket, there's just a few right through there. And then of course, the main location is gonna be these flowers up here. So let me see if I can get you a little closer. Okay, so now we are up here towards the top of the canvas. So all of these lighter colored flowers, they are going to have a lot of that AB in there. See right here as well. And then as far as those flowers go, that AB is going as well. Our next AB is this 131, this orange one, and it is symbol number two. I see a little bit of this one in the basket here also. So we're gonna have a really shiny little basket there. Over here where these orange flowers or I guess yellow maybe they're yellow flowers with some orange highlight but there is definitely some twos if you want me to bring it closer where you can see a little better you can see those twos now also not just in the flowers this time but we have some pretty little butterflies that have twos in them also this pretty little butterfly here and then in these flowers here where we saw that purple AB we've also got well if I could get the glare off of it so you could see we've also got some of that orange AB over here just dispersed all throughout this is going to be a really sparkly section over here too and then we've got a little bit up here in these flowers. And then these also, if you can spot those little twos. Oh, and it looks like right up here where we've got a little birdie. He's, he's just got a few of those twos in there just to make his little belly shine a little bit. Okay, the next one is the number three AB, and that is the 135, our green one. Okay, this one was a little harder to spot for me than the others, but I think I have found some. We'll start over here. You see those threes. But also in this section, there are some threes, and then it looks like there is quite the line of them right up here above our little birdie friend that we just looked at. Let's, let me show you all the way to the edge there. All those threes. Now we do have some also up here. I think that this is going to be the section where you see the most of those threes just kind of highlighting through here.
Okay, now we are to the 141. So we've got this white AB. This is symbol number four. Now I think I suspect <laughs> that most of the white you see is going to be that AB. So let me just take a closer look. Yes. Okay, so I'm seeing it here. I am seeing it here. Just some little dots through here. Now we're gonna discuss this whole section in just a minute, but um, there are some here, here. Now let me check our birdhouse. Yes, there's some in there. There's a bit of a closer look at the birdhouse. So a nice chunk of fours there. And it looks like we'll also have a few in our birdie. Then there is some in the clouds up here. And then I, th I think you can see this all carrying towards our main, main event over here. So those fours are all through here. And then you can see they start to travel down and then this fence or the gate is just covered, just covered with fours. I'll just try to give you a look. I'm not going to try to point them all out because we'll be here all day looking at them because look how many there are. That's going to be the shiniest fence ever. So pretty. And then we can travel up this side. You can see maybe not as much over here, but it's definitely still there. Then I'll give you a look at the clouds on this side, just covered in that white AB. So, so nice. I'm so excited about this. Okay, now let's look at this pretty fountain in the middle. So these pretty birds also have fours and then the white is here making some pretty shimmers on the water as it's splashing. I don't think this birdie friend has any ABs. No, I don't see any, but this carries on down all the way where the water is falling. Okay, you guys, I think that we have looked at all of the ABs as best as I can find where they are. Oh, you know what? Let me just, I just spotted another one. Let me bring this over here. Oh, two little fours in the bunny. <laughs> okay, now I think we're done, really. One last thing before we move on to the next kit, I always like to address whether I'm seeing more color blocking or confetti in a kit. Now, usually with landscapes, you are going to see a whole lot more confetti and that I believe is true for this one as well. Now there are some sections I would say like right through here where you can see that there's there's a little bit of blocking in there but then we have sections like this with the the flowers where there's a lot of color changes and then we saw that there are a lot of, of white ABs and a lot of straight lines of the same color throughout that white area. So I guess that might be sort of color blocking, but most of this y'all is going to be for the confetti lover. Okay, y'all, our next kit is Peace River Cabin by Kim Norlian. And once again, we're gonna see this image a lot bigger later, but oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see this. So this one is also another square. Uh, since we already discussed the box, we're not gonna do too much looking at this one, but I'll just give you a little roll there so you can see it. All right, let me do battle with the plastic. Okay, you would be surprised at how long that takes me, y'all. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. The toolkit. Let's see if I can find that sticker. Okay, we'll go look at that in just a second. Let me get this canvas out of here. And put it right side up. Okay. So this is that smaller sticker again, just like we saw with the other kit. Oh, that image, so pretty. 
And again, we got the newer style toolkit. I'm not gonna go over everything. I'll just show you the things in this one that are different from the one that we just saw. We did get a different color pin and squishy in this one. These are blue. And then we got this washi this time. So pretty. And then we also got this cover minder. Very gorgeous. And those were the only things different in the toolkit. So I will move on and see if I can not just shred this bag. Oh no, this one, this one's going easy on me. Okay, let's see if I can get the drills to come out. Oh, look at that bag. Oh my goodness, that's the pretty colors. I do this every time. I don't plan on getting distracted by the drills, but that's just part of it. I can't help myself. Ooh, that's a good view. Look. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Moving on, we have the thank you pamphlet again, but we've already looked in that. And then this is the larger sticker sheet for this one. Oh my goodness. And the dimensions on this it's 106 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And we've got 60 colors. How many ABs we have on this one? Looks like five ABs, nice. Okay, let's see if we can unroll this canvas and then I'll probably have to change my camera again, but I think you guys are used to that by now. Let's see if I can get it right side up. Nope. Nope, I still didn't. <laughs> How many tries? How many tries will it take me? Okay, I think we're gonna have it this time. Oh, it's so pretty. That reflection, oh gosh. Okay, I hope you guys are able to see. I'm, I'm gonna roll it backwards though and I'll see if the camera can be any better positioned. Okay, y'all, I've got it laying a little flatter for you guys and I, I think you can see it a little better. We will do that slow pan in just a minute. I wanted to show you we've got that same licensing information over here. And then of course we have got our legends on both sides again and I'm gonna let you see the symbols just quickly on the canvas just to see if everything looks clear. I think it does. I think it looks great. There's one at the bottom, my finger was covering it. Okay, let me give you that slow pan.
this is just the most peaceful scene. I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna look at the drills now. Let me give you another little glance at them in the bag before I ruin it when I take them out. Again, these are labeled. Again, we're gonna go through every drill, so there should be something, a timestamp or a chapter for you to be able to skip to where we look at the ABEs. All right, we've got two bags of 433. That one got a little squished. And then we've got a 414 and two bags of 779. Two bags of 938 and one, two, three bags of 935. Two bags of 434 and two bags of 301. One, two, three, four bags of 936. Two bags of 3347. Two bags of 3781. 936 and 644. One, two, three bags of 3371. One, two, three, four bags of 3346. One, two, three bags of 898. Lots of beautiful greens and browns in this kit. One, two, three, four, five. And not to be left out, six bags of 310. This one was trying to fall off of the strand, so I just went ahead and cut it. 317, one, two bags of 951, and then two bags of 3860. 135, so that's our first AB, that pretty green. 169, 640, 356, 741, 3024, 680, 131, so that's our next AB, a nice orangey color, 3855, 740, 842, 3722, 934, 3814, and 139. Ooh, that's a nice one. So that's our next AB, a pretty gray color. I love that. Two bags of 3752, 471, 3772, Two bags of 647 and then two bags of 632. 3823, 824, 825, 3801, 336, 107. Ooh, that's a pretty AB. Oh, I love that red. Kind of matches my nails a little bit. I didn't do that on purpose. 3041, 321, 991, 3733, 3843, 3766, 415, 814, and 125. Another AB. I love that one. I think this is similar to that color in the other kit that I said I always say that I love. Like it's just like a really, really pale, like green, I think. I, it might, I might would say a blue. It's just almost so close between the two, but oh my gosh, I love this AB. 646, 38.25. 38 38.48. 605, 413, 598, 3846. 
Okay, we are ready to look at where these ABs go. So if you've skipped to here, welcome back. And we are going to start with the number one symbol, and that is this 107, the red AB. Since there's not much red in this kit, I will go ahead and let you know that um, this down here, these red flowers, they are not ABs. The ABs are up here in this tree behind the house and I'll get you closer. Okay, this is a closer view of that tree. This this is the house and this tree behind the house. You can see all of these ones up here and then over here, there's a bit more. Now, I think there is another tree. I don't know if there's any ones in it. Oh, there are, there are. Okay, so this other red tree peeking out through the others. There's ones there. And I also noticed that there's just a few just kind of confettied in here in this little hanging basket. But that is all of the red that I see, or that red um, AB anyway. Okay, the next one is the number two symbol. That is the 125 AB. I haven't spotted very much of this, but that bag is, is pretty small. So I think maybe I found them all. But the main place that I'm seeing those twos is in these flowers along the, the uh, front porch area. Let me see if I can get it where you can actually see them. I think all of those little flowers are just gonna be shiny. And then all through here. Now, all, all of those flowers are like that. Also, I did spot one more line. This canvas is getting out of control. Okay, at least with Diamond Art Club canvases, you can wiggle them around however you need to to be able to see because it's going to flatten back out but this is the uh the truck on the side and it just has some little twos in there just some little lines of that baby there's a little bit more right there and i think that's it the number three ab is the 131 this nice orangey color this one is a little bit more dispersed than the others, so I may just have to point it out to you rather than try to bring the canvas forward for every single one of them. But there are some down here, right here. And then I spotted some on this picnic table. Just kind of highlighting that. Also, these flowers, the orangey ones down here, those are the three AB here as well. And then along this tree where it seems like the light is hitting it, those are the number three. Also the branch above, the highlights on that branch are also the three AB. The house has a bunch of it just kind of speckled throughout. Here around the door, around the railing, even on the roof. Just a whole bunch through there. There's some on the door, some here in the window, even upstairs a little bit. I want to check this tree over here. Oh yes, okay, this tree, this orange tree on this side of the canvas, it definitely has a good amount of that AB. Let's check this little one down here. Oh yep, yeah, you've got some too. There's quite a bit of this one. Next is the number four AB, and it is the 135, this nice green. This one is again, very dispersed. It is just as a highlight in the grass through here. Let's see, there's some more. And it looks like where the, the light is hitting 
these trees or shrubs out front. Those are ABs as well. And then there is some highlighting through this area. got to get you a little closer there. I don't know if you can tell that those are fours. Yeah, there we go. Lots and lots through here. And it even comes up here in the trees as well. Pretty much anywhere the light is hitting anything green, <laughs> that's going to be that AB. Some through there, here over here and then even all the way on on this side of the canvas over there over here a little bit right there okay you, you can barely see my finger but there's a little bit our last ab is the number five symbol and that's the 139 i love this gray i am so curious to see where this is going to be this one was tricky, but I think I finally found it. I, it's on the house. I was looking all down in the bottom at the rocks and things, and that's that's not where it is. Let me get you a little closer. If you can see it here, there's there's quite a bit of it there, and then there's also a little bit of it. This is the upper story window. There's some vibes right there. Not very much of this, unless I missed some, which is entirely possible, but I gave it a good look. It looks like there's even some, I just said that I don't think I missed any, and now I'm finding more. Um, it's along this side of the roof line as well. That is all the ABs. And before I end the video, I did want to just see if there were any areas in this canvas that looked like they might have some color blocking because to be honest this looks like a very confetti heavy piece but I did see that there's a bit of color blocking in the sky over there that blue is it's almost all the the same blue so that's just a whole block of blue and then a lot of the clouds are the same color so that there would be a little bit of a color block break right there and uh, that's, that's really about it. <laughs> there's, there's a little section here in the water that you might stay with the same color for, for a few minutes. Um, but most of this is gonna be a, a lot of color changing. So I would definitely recommend this for, for those confetti lovers. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it has not been too long. I just really don't know how long this video is gonna be, but thanks for sticking with me. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for letting me show you these kits as a first look, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.